Are you tired of not being able to do practical effects with your body hair because you're hairless? Well, stay tuned to Film Learning because we got you covered. Oh no! Somebody touch him, again! Only this a time. It's a personal. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. Now, as you may or may not be aware, we posted our Avengers Infinity War Spider Sense effect last week, but there was a little bit of a problem. Another channel called Red Belly Media had actually posted a tutorial a month prior using the same technique of using a balloon to raise up the arm hairs and shooting the arm on a green screen. Now, while I hadn't seen his tutorial prior to making mine, it's still a sucky situation when you have two different tutorials that overlap over each other and someone's posted one before yours. This kind of content overlap is pretty common on YouTube, especially in the tutorial space, and I'm gonna be talking about content overlap a little bit more in a vlog later this week. So if you'd like to head over to Red Belly Media's channel, and check out Mitchell's content. He's got some tutorials and he's got some short films up on that channel. You can just click the card right above my head right now. So this whole content overlap thing got me thinking, is there a different way to do the spider sense effect? And lo and behold, in the comment section was my answer. A whole bunch of you said, what if you don't have arm hair? And it's a fair point. Some people don't have arm hair. Some people aren't the wolf man like me. Extend to Stimpy your powerfully hairy arm. So what do we do in that situation? Well, funnily enough, the answer was in my introduction to the tutorial last week. How the hell are we going to get this done? I mean, it's hairs raising up. How do they do that? Is it a digital effect? That's right, digital arm hair. I actually went into Cinema 4D yesterday and I started playing around with the hair module for the first time. I started off by modeling an arm, then I populated it with hairs and with a bit of experimentation, I got our final result. I populated a digital arm with hairs and had them stand up. So how do we use this digital hair? Well, firstly, you've got to have no arm hair. So, let's get started. This might take a while. Shaving my shoulders, I'm getting it all shaved off. Just look at all that fur. Reminds me of that episode of Ren and Stimpy. Where are you going? Your plate's still full. Now just a word of caution first. If you do have arm hair and it's long enough to use a balloon, use a balloon. Don't go and shave your arms because it's really not necessary. But if you do have no hair, all you need to do is shoot your arms staying as still as possible in a close up. And just like with our spider sense effect last week, you'll also need to shoot your actor separately reacting to that arm. And in order to grab your digital arm hair, you need to head to filmlearner.com slash downloads and grab the weirdest pack I've ever made. That's right guys, our very first sound effects pack is my farts. Oh, second weirdest. Let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and just like with our Spider-Man effect last time, I have two different clips in my comp. Only this time our arm isn't shot on a green screen, it's just shot staying as still as possible. Now the reason we're shooting them separately is a simple one. We still need to rack focus from our arm to our actor's face, and since most of us are a one man crew, just like me, we can't really do that without moving. That, and when we add that focus rack to the arm, we want the focus rack to match. Having said that guys, if you still want to shoot your arm on a green screen, you totally can. I'm just presenting a different way to do this without a green screen. So our first step is to roto our arm in the shot. And that's gonna be pretty easy since it barely moves. Now, like I said, the arm barely moves, but since many of you don't have After Effects CC, I'm gonna use Mocha to roto the arm since Mocha has been a part of After Effects since CS6 and it's a lot easier to use. So let's select our arm clip, head to animation and select track in Mocha AE. Once Mocha opens up, check that all the settings are right and hit okay. Next, we're gonna grab the X-Spline tool right up here, and we're gonna draw a nice detailed mask all the way around our arm and our sleeve here. I'll then hit Control A to select all the points, and I'm gonna bring in the rounding to smooth our mask out a little. Done. We'll then hit Track Forward and wait for it to finish tracking.
There we are. Now while our track is pretty good, I am going to adjust it a little bit as it just goes off the rails just a little bit towards the end here. Now if you'd like to know a little bit more about tracking in Mocha and adjusting masks and whatnot, you can always check out our Cyborg Hologram effect, which is currently clickable as a card up in the corner. So to finish this off, I'm going to head down, hit Export Shape Data, and then I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Now let's head back to After Effects. Okay, back in After Effects and we have our arm layer selected, and all we have to do is hit Control V or Paste, and we now have our arm masked out. Now you may find that your arm mask needs some refining, so let's do that quickly. First, let's right click, hit Pre-Compose, and we'll make sure all those attributes are moved into the new comp. We'll then head over to Presets, type Matte, and grab Matte Choker. Now I'm personally going to set the choke to 100, and the grade level softness to 39%. If I turn this on and off, you can see how it's affected the arm. Okay, so I've got our arm done. So hopefully you've imported the hair movie files from the download pack, and we have a few different hair colors available so you can pick your hair. Oh god, that sounds weird. Now let's not get too ahead of ourselves, because even though our arm doesn't move around a lot, it does move, so we do need to track the arm before our arm hair can go on. Good thing we already did that in Mocha, right? So let's head back to Mocha since it's already open, and this time, instead of exporting the shape data, we're simply going to export the tracking data right here because the track is already done. So let's hit copy to clipboard and head back to After Effects. Woo, we're back. Oh, that was hard work. Ah, now let's open up a new null object right up here and making sure we're on the first frame of our comp, we're gonna paste that tracking data onto the null. Nice. We can now grab our hair file and drop it into the comp. Let's then position it into place as best we can. That looks pretty good. And once you're happy, let's parent it to the null and turn on motion blur for the comp and both of these layers and let's check out a preview. That looks pretty good, right? Now gang, you may need to color correct the hair to match your arm. I mean, that's a given really. I used Colorista and if I turn it on and off, you can see that I really didn't do much to get it to blend well. It doesn't matter if you don't have Colorista, just make sure you have a play with the color and the brightness and the contrast until it looks just right for your shot. Now the last two steps on this tutorial are the same as our previous Spider-Man effect. We rack focus from our arm to our face, and we animate the arm going down as I move. Now guys, there are a few steps that are different on this rack focus effect, mainly that we need to pair our arm hair and our arm footage together. So let's do that really quick. Let's select our arm footage pre-comp, our null, and our hair footage, and then we're gonna right click and pre-compose them. After that, we can follow the exact same steps to rack focus as in our previous episode. Now aside from those steps about pairing those three layers together, I don't see any point in repeating those steps in this tutorial. So I'm just going to share a card at the top corner of this screen right now that'll start when our previous spider sense effect was at that point. Because for now my friends, that is how you place digital hair on your arm, and that is also one of the weirdest tutorials I've ever made. Mm, done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Oh no! Somebody touch my spaghetti! Only this a time. It's a personal. So that's my take on a digital advanced spider sense effect. As you can see, it's really not that hard to populate your arm with some digital hairs. And guys, make sure if you do have a request, you throw it down in the comment section. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. And hey, if you are new here, why not hit subscribe? And if you are subscribed, make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. We've got two other episodes right over here, as well as a playlist right here. My social media crap is above my head. Make sure you check that community tab guys, because I'm posting all the time. And until I see you again, keep learning.